Well, thank God for Seraph phones, because let me tell you, switching on the fly, super fantastic. Love the fact that I got Ramu, and uh, I got Evan Print here. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I'd be screwed. So, you know, Seraphone did the thing. Also, I put Derp in the lineup because I don't know what else am I going to do. I, honestly, I, I could probably just say F you. Actually, no, I need something with weight. It wouldn't have equaled the weight that I desire. So, uh, you know, Derp, Derp, he contributes to that. Uh, so, yeah, I got the Thunder. I got the Thunder thing going. Uh, oh... I just wrecked a wrecked train. That was that was fantastic. Uh, welcome back to the rail yard, aka the train graveyard. Ooh, it's spooky, right? Because it's um, because it's all desolated and decrepit, and some other word that starts with a D and an E. Uh, I digress. Yeah, Not the thing. We got another Chrome Giant, which you know is a side evolution for Geldum. Uh, honestly, Geldum is. Well, I had to have Gildam in his Mithril Giant form because he's got the Smash ability. Uh, it's the only thing I can really use Gildam for other than his Mega Mirage form. Unfortunately, I don't know if, I, if there's going to be anything else I need to smash. And that makes me sad because uh, he's the only Mirage that I really have that can do that. Unless Billy Zane has something that I'm not remembering. Uh, it's been a while. I digress. Uh, hey, no vampires. I did get Owl Flame out. I decided, uh, why not? Owl Flame, it, it's a good showcase time. He's he's a little on the weak side, but I, I can do. I can deal with. It's fine. I think Owl Flame needs a little bit of showcasing. So this that was his fight. That was his first fight. He did pretty good and leveled up. So I'm happy with the results. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to say other than that. I mean, I kind of went off the rails. No pun unintended. Uh, about, you know, the train graveyard in Final Fantasy VII, so it's like, I felt like I covered that in some sort of detail, enough that I feel satisfied. Uh, if there was anything I left out, I mean, well, it, it's pretty forgettable all in of itself, and if you really have that many questions, go play Final Fantasy VII. That, that's the best advice I can really suggest. It's a very short part, and you probably will forget it, because you, you're only there for so long, and then you're gone. You're done. Uh, I guess I could bring up Final Fantasy VI because they had like a ghost train in that one. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was Doom Train. Speaking of which, made a cameo in Final Fantasy VIII. It was a summon and it was awesome and it was amazing. And man, I wish they'd bring back Doom Train because it, it, it's fun. It, it's fun for the whole family. It, it's like it, Thomas the Tank Engine, but it's got a it's got a skull face and it's amazing and it just mows down your enemies and I think it causes a whole bunch of stats if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it looks amazing. Uh, also, in Final Fantasy VI, it was a boss fight and you had Sabin who would suplex it and it's pre it's pretty infamous because of that and I like it for that reason alone. And other than that, I mean, vampires. And a thought just occurred to me. Yeah, no, this is the vampire part. Uh, we're, we're working towards finding, like, the OG vampire. The one vampire. The, the vampire which, I guess, if you kill it, it turns everyone else back to normal. Uh, and, I mean, all of its subordinates are just vampires, and so it's like, Geldum, why don't you talk about vampires? That would be a very fitting topic at hand. I mean, what else are you going to talk about? Which, I guess I could, but honestly, I don't have that much love for vampires. They're just vampires. I mean, sure, you have a lot of lore and myth, and there's Twilight, I guess, which I think everyone kind of forgot because, uh, you know, Twilight isn't very, very current. And I'm fine with that. Uh, I don't really know much about Twilight. I'm not the person to talk about. Uh, all I know is that uh, it's, it's love story, love triangle, drama, uh, vampire sparkle. Uh, that, that's it. Uh, we got four Murfkins. And I got weak mirages. I'm just thinking to myself, should I really go up against these because I got a level 40 right here, 43, my bad, I'm not paying attention, I'm just making note that I got these things. Come on, bring Let's kick in. Red caps? Goblins? 
I haven't seen these guys in like forever. Uh, let me think. What can I do against these things? Because I only got one star, so that's not enough to really summon Balthier to solve my problem. So, uh, if it were up to me, I'm seeing a lot of single abilities, which is kind of sad circumvent, I guess, but it doesn't seem like it's a damage. Hell Driver, mmm. This is all sorts of. You know, it's alright, I guess, but it's not solving my problems. Uh, I think these guys are weak against water. Uh, well, I got some water spell stones. Uh, that looks pretty decent. Uh, I guess it's worth a shot. I guess it was worth the effort. I mean, I got seven. If, if I got into any sort of situation that asked me to use one uh, for a mini adventure or something like that, I, I think I'd be fine. They don't really get too greedy level 40 I think it can handle it if it's like the goblins I, I, I'll be fine Let's make this squirrels good. moose re re reaver muse uh, mu enemy reaver moo uh, fire attacks I mean I, I guess like yeah but for my money uh, because I need something that's multi-targeting uh, I, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and use a fire spell stone. I will splurge on using one because it's a instant victory item. Oh, yeah. That's how I feel. Oh yeah, I won. I got some stats and uh, I should really switch out Ramu. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I guess I I, I guess my thought process is I don't want to use a seraphone, so uh, forgive me. I, I guess I'll just have to. Suffer having a mirage that I don't really plan on using, but at the right, same time, let's do this. Here we go. wait, Corrigans, Corrigan, um, uh, the Mandagora alternative. Um, well, I think they're fire, so uh, Balthier, obviously, being the water multi targeting champion. Mind if I drop in? Just sit tight. That'll do. Well, uh, yeah. on one hand, I won. But they were resistant, so I guess that was a poor choice. But I, I guess it's irrelevant nonetheless, because even though, like... It, it was like, uh, it was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say, even though it was like a Tangela and you got like a water Pokemon, I mean, the level difference just doesn't matter. There we go. Fair enough. This won't take long. No kid gloves for you. These things are different. I don't think we've encountered these things. I mean, uh, I, I, I want to say we had like a Santa Core or something like that. Uh, these things look much different than that. <laughs> Uh, we also had like the the Mima core and uh, uh, I think there was a sphinx I, I think this is the pre evolution of the sphinx or a Mima core mana core and if you want it it's like poison it's interesting to say the least it's, it's got the bedazzled look and it, it looks like uh, an Egyptian cat thing, which, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. It's kind of cool looking, kind of like it, kind of want one as a pet, even though I'd probably die from horrible venom, uh, poison, dying from poison, something that's not my own fault, but like a side effect of hugging it and then dying. Uh, see, it's doing that, it's got the venom needles, it's not a good situation. <laughs> Me hugging it equals death. Or dying at the very least. I don't know. I mean, Lawn and Rain, they seem to be alright. Uh, for my money, because it is weak against water, I guess there's only one choice but to use the Water Spellstone. It's my only saving grace. It's the only thing I can do. I might as well splurge. 
because I instant win. And you know, no, see, that's no. the, that's the thing I'm getting from the Murfkins. If it's not made obvious, you got four. They're not the most difficult individually, which I guess is kind of like the thing that you wouldn't think about. But you know, they they give you a whole bunch, so it's just like you're constantly being barraged by mirages. Uh, having done that, we unlocked a secret fifth Murfkin, level 35. I, I got a question. Is the level dictated by the last one of the four Murfkin cubes that you fight? Because, I mean, the high one was like level 43, so if I would have kept that one last, would this thing be level 43? Uh, it, it's just a question that I got, but it's level 35, so uh, significantly not as strong. No kick gloves for you. This won't take long. Um, my little unicorn pony thing? Uh, what? I've got this. Libra, save me. Nightmare, my little nightmare, got it. Uh, use a dark attack. Okay, alright. Dark attack, not really all that effective, but if I wanted it, uh, you know what to do. I'm gonna try to avoid using dark attacks, because, uh, I don't really have a good faith that it's gonna do much in terms of helping me. But hypnosis- Oh. I was wrong. <laughs> Well, in that case, if if I can't hypnotize you, uh, surely I can, um, I can, uh, uh I, give me a second, everyone, I gotta think, you know, because imprisoning abilities, champions, I don't, oh, I don't have any stars to squander, uh, and no stars means, um, man, I, I think Dark my only abilities rely heavily on darkness, and I guess that's the result of me having Alflame, which is pretty much just dark and, uh, Help Diver. Uh-oh. Right. Uh, why was I worried? <laughs> why was I putting more effort than I really needed to? Because apparently, you know, doing 1500 points of damage was just that. My little nightmare just, like, falls to the ground and it's gone. And, and you know, it, it's... It, we're moving on. I, I guess I'll never know the answer to the questions I seek. But at the same time, what can I say? I wasted a lot of time. And so this, this has been more of the train graveyard vampires. Still not a lot to say about that. Huh? Uh, What's wrong? I just... I think I saw somebody inside of that train. You, you were so full of elixirs. But I saw it too. But, but you're really not imagining it? <coughs> ah! <coughs> Holy goblins, you gave me a heart attack. Oh man, you don't ever change. One little whiff of the supernatural makes you freak out. Be quiet! I think we have bigger the things to worry about now! Huh? huh? Uh, what the honk is that? <sighs> not again. The Me and trains, trains we are what so not getting along lately. Oh, huh? speaking of, what was that? do you know the difference between a train and a tram? <laughs> yeah, uh, rain? This is really not the time! <laughs> There's no mistaking that for the anything but a ghost train. Ah! Why couldn't it be a mirage instead of a g ghost? Uh, is one really better than the other? Yes! Mirages and ghosts are nothing alike! Oh, good to know. Ah! 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 But they said you for We have to go after the herd! Uh, right! Uh, what? No, Rain. Just hang on, sis. My sister, she's gone. I don't have her stack or anything. Oh man, I have. I might have to carefully prepare for this. Uh, what was up with that ghost train? Was was the conductor responsible? Uh, is, is he secretly working with the vampires? What am I supposed to infer on this? Uh, so many questions, not enough time. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna prepare a little bit. Uh, that said, there's really not a lot else to say, so I, I'm gonna end the part off here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. 
uh, there's really not a whole lot to say about it, so, uh, yeah. Again, just gonna prepare. Uh, I suggest you do the same if you're playing along, but you, you probably aren't. You're probably just watching. So, yeah, uh, that said, I, I'm done. I'm out. Thank you.